All right, and here's round three. I lost the die roll again in my very bad Boros deck. Here that um, <clears throat> opponent is FK. So I'll be right back myself. Oh no, he's not. Alright, I'm back. That's fast, huh? Um, yeah. I'm not gonna in this. This is fine. I prefer to have a two drop, but. Can't complain whenever I can actually play something. Faded. Faded plot. I understand that. Um, yeah. Might be coming up against um, the cool hyper aggro. That'd be really cool, man. Slaughter horn. That kind of a, that's kind of annoying. <clears throat> so I'm gonna play the Ember Beast. That sort of halts his slaughter horn attack, and it lets me attack the denizen. Oh wait, no it doesn't. I'm not going to attack the Denison. I'm going to... That'll be a double block on Denison and Ember Beast on the Slaughter Horn. Yeah, last game draws were pretty bad, but... Can't complain, I have a really good worst off deck, so... And if he wants to use a trick here to save his slaughter horn, I'm fine with that too. <clears throat> I think it's, he gets a two for one out of that, but I get to uh, mugging his slaughter horn. Uh, actually, oh man, what do I do now? I think I should have to mugging the Spire Tracer. I can eventually block the Slaughter Horn, and I can't really block the Spire Tracer once he starts growing. over. Well, that sucks. But... So I'm going to take 9 next turn. Followed by another 6, and I'm just dead. Not quite, but I will be if he has anything to stick on that Wrecking Ogre. Or if he blood rushes, then I'm just dead. But he didn't, so I'm not dead yet. Yet. <clears throat> so, now it's just going to be the uh, Angelic Skirmisher. I have to get some lifelink action going. Uh, 
choose life link. Because the Pumping Lightning, I'm just dead. I choose life link. And of course, I have to block. And we'll play the uh, rip scale now. So I think I play the skin brand and then massive raid slaughterhorn. <sighs> Maybe the firefist striker. Yeah, I'll do that. Just get rid of the firefist striker. Target my things not to block, so just get rid of him now. I play the goblin first to get around uh, burst of strength. I can't really attack yet. I need to draw something else. Force is not something else. Formation work is something else, though. And that will let me attack. Pretty comfortably in my head. So we'll get in there with the rip scale. Double block. That's pretty sweet. <clears throat> I'll accept that for sure. No? No double blocks. Okay. Oh, yes, he has double blocking. So I'm going to target the Croc and Nero for uh, getting killed. That way, if I draw a fire main adventure, then yeah, sure. Burst of strength or slaughter horn. It's fine by me. It was a really sweet draw, actually. Now I can leave behind the skin brand goblin and use a trick to kill Slaughterhorn.
bag. <laughs> and I drew the fireman adventure. That's pretty sweet. All right, so I'm gonna attack the uh, ruination worm first. All right. Winning game one is on the draw is really good. So he is uh, super hyper aggressive. Um, so what does that mean for me? think it means much. Uh, natural. I know he's probably running like forced adaptations and natural and uh, madcap skills and such. So I think I a gift for naturalize maybe. It seems like if I stabilize it'll be good. But if he gets like an early madcap skill or something on his uh, spire tracer then and I can't remove it immediately I'm just dead. So, yeah. Um, oh, I'm, I'm not going to mulligan. This hand's fine. It may not get there in time, but it's fine. Alright, I drew a force, which is really good. Because now I can cool charm this flyer. If he has one. I don't know if he has one. Maybe he does. Maybe he doesn't. Disciple, okay, sure. Put that mountain. Okay, him not enchanting the disciples good news. And Drakeling Crazies is bad news. But I could just like rule charm it now and get it out of the way. Yeah, I'm not really in a rush with this guy Night Legionnaire, so... Um, I don't know that... I played the Legionnaire and played it and just use it for defense. I'm trading one for one, I only have one other creature in hand. So I don't know that I want to do that. Um, which can go next turn, draw the turn. Um, the thing with the charm is it kill it deals three damage to each creature with flying, so <clears throat> it doesn't work. So actually, I'm going to pass the turn. I'm going to see if he like uh, enchants up his draping before combat. Uh, and then use a cruel charm. He it doesn't look like he's going to. I'm gonna take it to blockers. Alright, he passed priority, so I'm gonna go ahead and use the ghoul charm to kill his uh Drake Wing. He might blood rush in response. Yeah. Okay. I kind of sort of was thinking that might happen, but uh so now that I've gotten that out of the way, I'm gonna play the Sky Knight and block. Yeah. yeah, you're probably right. I should have used it pre-combat. Oh, Urban Evolution. 
pollution. That's sick. All right, so now I'm actually going to play the Ember Beast and pass. And that leaves open an aerial maneuver mana. So I can just get him with that. Do it this way, and I will aerial maneuver. If you want some blood rush in response to that, it's fine. Yeah, I kind of just got blown out there by trying to be tricky. I didn't know you are blown out, but... So you might have just done the same thing the next turn when I tried to kill his disciple. I think he's going for the blood rush here. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'll definitely not take five to the face. Thank you very much. He plays a croc in order to back it up. Uh, so here I have to drop the nav squads. Yeah, I'm going to take three at least from the crazies. That just might be how it goes down. Is this like a primordial? I'm in the swimmers, and that's that's game. So since I'm on offense now, I'm going to take out this naturalize. Um, I think I'm going to bring back in the gift. Uh, yeah, I, even if that was a, even if the naturalize wasn't a, maybe if the naturalize was a gift, I would have had another turn. But it's not important. I do want to play first, obviously. Uh, Fuck this hand. I'm gonna mulligan. This hand can't win. Neither can this hand. I'm gonna mulligan again. Alright, well, this hand can at least do something. Slobber horn, you're annoying.
yeah. All right, you got the lands per speed there. No blocks, of course. I don't play the now squad. Just blocks this stuff. And I'll trade a now squad for a blood rush trick if that's what he wants to do. Looks like he's not going to do that yet. Now I just place the Pygmy. Uh, Wrecking Ogre. That is also a thing that he could play. Um, So could be mugging here and attack the nav squad. Mugging his butterhorn and attack the nav squad. Um, let's do the math. If I do that, he goes down to nine. He swings back with the wrecking over. That blocks the true fire shield to passage it. Then I Attack him back for another seven. I think that's how that goes. Because I can't pump the tree fire and get a shield passage. So yeah, we'll just mug Mr. Slaughterhorn here. I could have actually mugged the ogre and I've gotten in for seven, but that just seems bad. I'm just using this as like a fog slash stay alive. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's true. But I think I've got him on the defense, and I kind of want to keep him on the defense. time we're just going to attack the true fire and play the fire man adventure and I'll leave open bluffing like burst of strength man so if the avenger the avenger is allowed to live he just loses Definitely blocking uh, Nav Squad here. And he still just loses here. <sighs> Angelic Skirmisher. That would be so sick to just slam that thing right now. Um, 
some attacking with the true fire. I don't think it's necessary to attack with the fire main. But what are they really going to do to me? Even the uh, Rubble Hulk Blood Rush only gives him plus seven, plus seven. Uh, you could Ground Assault. In which case, the True Fire is just going to kill him anyway the next turn. Um, Scar Goliath gives him like plus nine, plus nine. That doesn't kill me either. So, yeah. I'm just going to go in. Oh, you know what? He has, he has to block. If he, he didn't block, so I'm just going to kill him. Yeah. So yeah, that's it. Um, I won two games or two matches, so that was pretty well worth it. <laughs> A really bad deck, and I won two matches, so sweet. I'll take it. Thanks for watching. Um, yeah, uh, I had multiple people going three colors. I think everybody I played against was three colors. Because even this guy was splashing blue. Alright. Well, if you'd like to subscribe to uh, Magic Gathering Strive on YouTube. Or Magic, you know. The same thing here. Magic Gathering Strive on Twitch. Subscribe. Like the videos. Um, I'm going to go to bed. <laughs> Good night.